The Spirit of Newfoundland is pleased to present the Big Spirit Reunion Gala. Oh, Peter, I love the first episode. I, I, that flew by. That was fast and beautiful. Excuse I me. loved it. Yeah. Hey, put oh. on a small bit of popcorn. Popcorn, oh. thank you so much. That's Would great. you like to lay? No, I'm going to stick with the popcorn. Uh, Sheila, where is the wine? Pepsi? Yes, well, now I couldn't carry it all, could I? And is there no one else who can move, only me? <laughs> here, here, I what? love watching TV, and I love watching us on TV. Yes. Oh, yeah. So that first episode was all about the first year, yeah. and now we're on to Patty McGinty's week. I loved that show. I, did too. I loved doing that show. And Sheila, you know what I remember about it? Laughing at you all the time because there was nothing you wouldn't do. For a laugh. Honey, I had no option, did I? What? You told me. You have to do this. Well, I mean, it's always good to listen to the director. Mm. Director. <laughs> Check it out. Hi, I'm Jimmy. J Jimmy McGinty. Uh, I suppose I'm at the right wake, and my sister, I'll um, want to give me a funny look. Oh, yeah, sure. Sure, look. look. That's, uh, that's all Mick's family there in the front row. Oh, yeah, Mick's family. Yeah, we're oh, in the right oh, place. Yeah. You for yeah, you're all here because now <laughs> you're, you're tangled up with um, Patty. In, you know, in one way or another, father, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, sure, you all know my sister Suze. Yeah, Suze is ten months pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm ten and a half ten months and a half pregnant. Oh, <laughs> having a hard time. Oh, I'm having a hard Jimmy. time, hard time, you know? Jimmy, yes, got yeah. me. But, you know, uh, where's mother now? She's, oh, she's, she's in the bedroom. Bedroom. Oh, oh, there oh, she is now. Oh, there oh, she oh, is. Okay, hang on. Oh. I'll come up Ma to you. Mom. One oh, second, my God. Oh, come on, we gotta go. Mom, wait. Wait now. Wait now. Jimmy. Hurry up. Jimmy, darling, I'm coming up to you. Your water break? I'm keep, keep going. Keep the water's going. breaking. Hang water, on. Wave, wave. Yeah. Help oh, me up, water. Help Jimmy, me up, Jimmy, darling. Yeah, yeah. Jimmy, help me up. Help Sus. me up, Jimmy. Yeah, yeah. Suze. Yeah, I'm coming, Mom. Suze, uh, where are you, a minute. Uh, oh, my God. Oh, God. Oh, oh, there. Oh, oh, how do you, what? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, honey. What are you doing, Mom? Uh, Mom, we gotta we gotta talk God, to you for just a minute. Excuse me, I was just uh, talking to the people yeah, for a no. second. Uh, Mom, excuse. What did I tell you about interrupting? Uh, um, I just, I'd just like to say oh, how wonderful it is just, for you to come out. Petty, be so pleased yeah. that you took the talk. What? Get away! What are you doing? Oh, God's oh. sake! Uh, was that up the whole time? Uh, no, oh, no, no, it was. not the whole time. Oh, God's sake! When you haul it down sooner, never mind tapping me, tapping, tapping, tapping. Oh, God, I'm no ashamed of my life. No. They probably didn't notice. No, they no. didn't notice. No, oh, God, no. they seem a bit vague. <laughs> my God, in the meantime, it's put me in mind at a time. Remember when, remember when Patty came home from Mass one week and he had a black eye? Oh, yeah. You remember that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, Mick's family, where are they? Where are they, Ducky? Oh, 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 God, now you remember this. Well, Patty, you see, he came home from Mass one week, and he had a black eye. And he, I said, Ducky, what happened? He said, Rosemary, you're never going to believe it. I said, give it a go. He said, well, I went into Mass today, and I sat down. Who came in behind me and sat in front of me but Aunt Nell? Well, when time came for the first hymn, we all stood up to sing it. Aunt Nell stood up, and the back of her skirt was all tucked up into the crease of her eye. <laughs> you know where it was. So suddenly he said, I reached ahead and I hauled down. Next thing she turned around and clocked me <laughs> right in the eye. Oh, what a shiner. Oh, well, yeah. we had to put a steak on it. Yes. Oh, no, mother. No, it was a pork chop. Oh, pork chop. No, he's right. He's right. Steak was rare. Yeah. But uh, I thought that was funnier, actually, than what it was. But anyway, didn't he come home the next week with another black eye? Now, I said, Ducky, what happened this time? He said, you're never going to believe it. He said, me and Mick, you probably remember this. Me and Mick went in today and sat down into Mass, and who came in behind us and sat in front of us but Aunt Nell again. Well, when time came for the first hymn, we all stood up to sing it. Aunt Nell stood up, and the back of her skirt was all tucked up again. Well, now, certainly Mick being who he is, he reached ahead and he hauled it down, but I knew that she didn't want it all down. I reached ahead and I tucked it all up again. <laughs> <laughs> she turned around and clocked oh, oh, I love it. I, love I that loved show. it. Oh. And you know what? This show was always so special because it was two months into the run of this show that my father passed away. Of course. Sheila, I always remember your father watching you in yes. this role. And I always remember him being in the audience because of his huge laugh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you could hear him everywhere, Sheila. Yeah, you could. Mm. Uh, in yeah. fact, the main character, Rosemary, who was the widow in this, was named after my mother. Rosemary Williams. Yeah, and we had written in the show, this is the oddest thing, we had written in the show that uh, Patty would die on, the, on his birthday. Yeah. And then two months later, my father died on his birthday. Isn't that, that's incredible. Isn't that mm. the oddest thing? And yeah. every time I hear this song, it always reminds me of Dad. Thank you. 
The tears have all been shed now. We've said our last goodbye. His soul's been blessed and he's laid to rest. And it's now I feel alone. He was more than just a father, a teacher. As we play them on our own, and I never will forget him, for he made me what I am. Though he may be gone, memories linger on, and I miss him, the old man. I thought he'd live forever. It seemed so big and strong. But the minutes fly and the years roll by for a father and his son. And suddenly, when it happened, there was so much left unsaid. No second chance. To tell him thanks for everything he'd done. And, and I, I never will forget him, for he made me what I am. Though he may be gone, memories linger And I'll miss him. Here at Spirit of Newfoundland, family has always been very important to us. You know, we would bring all of our original scripts to my mother because we trusted her comedic sensibilities. And she would say whether we were crossing a line or she thought that something was going to be very funny. And she was always right. Sheila's mother had a brilliant, always brilliant turn of phrase. Her, her expressions were always hysterical. Yes, oh darling, your own duck is the yellowest. They would often make it to the shows. Yes, always made them to the show. Shelley's mother would always give sound advice. Mm -hmm. Sing it up nice and loud. Yeah, sing it up, <laughs> and that was always great advice. Mm -hmm. We've had nephews, nieces, brothers, sisters, cousins work with us, and everybody would help out. In fact, my business partner, Kathy Hicks, her father and Sam Butt built the stage that we perform on every night. When her mother was in town from Corner Work, she'd have a, a mop in hand and be out bussing tables. We Just have... instrumental, Peter, in mm -hmm. our success. For sure. And you know what? We were very fortunate. During our 10th anniversary, we were lucky enough to get a recording of our parents to tell us what show was their favorite, and these are their choices. Mom, what was your favorite show? There's one show that stands out very clear in my mind, and that's I Love You, You're Perfect, Now Change. Mm -hmm. So sweet to hear her voice. Yeah. You know, and then we went to New York and we took the entire cast down to see I Love You, Your Perfect Now Change on Broadway. And now our buddy Petrina is on Broadway in Come From Away. You are about to see a scene from I Love You, Your Perfect Now Change, which I never got to do, but I was always wishing I could do because it's one of those things that magically brings you from laughter to tears and back again. And there's something about crying while you're laughing that is completely a unique experience and one that always happens in a Spirit of Newfoundland show. So here you are, ladies and gentlemen, funerals are for dating. The O'Brien Wake. Excuse me? Yeah, uh, Frank O'Brien's Wake. I met you there. I'm sorry, do I know you? Uh, you, well, you should. Mm. I, I met you at uh, Helen Walsh's funeral. Is your name Margaret? Uh, yes. Yeah, sure it is, yeah. Yeah. Uh, nice to see you again, Margaret. Uh, nice yeah. to see you. Barry. Barry. Uh, Londrigan. Oh, yeah. Barry Londrigan. Yeah. <laughs> Margaret. Yeah, as yeah. I say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Seems like a lovely wake. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Who's it for? <laughs> you don't know who the deceased is? No. No, I don't. No. I'm here for the 430 wake. McGraw. I'm early. <laughs> well, Figured there's no 
Hire him to come in and pay me respects. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's nice. Yeah, thank you. Well, yeah. it's for Mary. Mary, yeah. Mary, um, oh, I, I don't know her name. <laughs> Oh. I didn't actually know her. I just accompanied my girlfriend Peggy over there. Oh yeah. She all dolled up for me. Hi Peggy, I see her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's why like Peggy. Yeah. Well, that was nice of uh, Peggy and you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice indeed. Oh, would you like some boiled ham? Pardon? Well, I'm early. I knew I was going to be early, so I, I stopped in, uh, you know, the, the, the new Dominion down there, the old stadium. I think they farced that up. Uh, <laughs> but I stopped in there, and I got myself a nice boiled ham sandwich. I figured I'd eat it in peace, uh, save it till later. I'm over here. Uh, <laughs> I, I think I, I'm picking up from you that perhaps I shouldn't eat this hair, should I? Oh. <laughs> I'm not picking up a whole lot these days, but I can still pick up a hint. <laughs> One, two, three, gone. <laughs> uh, had the wake for my Sue here. Oh. Yeah. Married 43 and a half years. Oh. Yeah. What about you? What? Your husband. Is this where you ha had the wake? Well, I, what makes you think that my husband passed away? <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, you just have that look. <laughs> what look? Uh, uh, Margaret, it, it's a look. It's a look. I, I'm good at pinpointing it normally. It's a look of someone who seems to have lost the person they spent their life with. Oh. A bit of a glaze <laughs> over the eyes. <laughs> well, um, my Jim's Jim, yeah. viewing was uh, a couple of years and a couple of months ago. Oh. <laughs> it was at Barrett's. Barrett's? Hmm. You're not Catholic. <laughs> no. No. I can live with that. <laughs> so, um, are you seeing anyone now? Excuse me? Was that too forward? Oh, this is a wake. Yes. Somebody has died. Yes. True. We don't know who she is. <laughs> but still. Sorry. <sighs> Sorry, Margaret. I just uh, thought I'd talk. I like to talk. Uh, I guess I, I'm what you'd call a, a talker. <laughs> Talkers talk, that's what they do. But I'm one of those talkers that doesn't have to talk. Some people go on and on and talk a dog off a meat truck, you know. <laughs> I'm, I'm not one of those people. I can stop any time. You won't hear me say another peep if you want, you know, but okay, normally I can stop. All right, Barry. Barry, it's not a problem. No. All right, and you shouldn't be getting your boiled ham from the old Stadium Dominion anyways. You need to go to some local. Oh. Like Halliday's. Halliday's. Yeah, they yeah. know what a decent portion looks like. Oh. And the meats there, they're fresher. The meats are what? They're fresher. Fresher. Yeah, fresher than fresh. Fresher. My God, Margaret, is fresher a word? Yes. Fresher. They're fresher. <laughs> Doesn't sound right to me. But I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll go on the lookout for a bit of fresher meat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, say, Margaret, would you be interested in getting a cup of tea with me? Uh, after, you'll have to wait till after the McGraw wake, but uh, I tell you, they're lovely people. Talkers like myself. Now, I suppose they won't be too chatty today, you know, but generally. Uh, is, is this a pickup? <laughs> no, Margaret, my God, no. Oh my God, right now I, 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 I'd call this a, a valiant attempt at a pickup. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working like a farm animal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I made a, oh, sorry about that. That's all right, good to laugh. So what do you say, Margaret, a cup of tea? I mean, I can't kill you. No. Oh. <laughs> What do you say, Margaret? Barry, Barry, you seem like a nice man. Sure, yeah. You do, but I just don't go out like you're intending. No, I just don't. I've got some problems. My health's not good. Well, at our age, that's understood. I've got arthritis. Flares up in June. I've got bronchitis. Oh, I'll get that soon. No matter, I can live with that. 
had a bypass. Oh, I've had two. <laughs> I dye my hair. Yes, it looks nice blue. My ways are set. Well, people change. Margaret, I find you sexy. I find you strange. No matter, I can live with that. I often think of those I met. Friends keep dying, but I've grown strong. Sometimes I have to reminisce. It still does hurt, just not as long. My kids don't visit. Uh, mine never leave. <laughs> I make a meatloaf, you won't believe. I tell tall tales. I tell the truth. Oh, I drink skim milk. I drink vermouth. No matter, I can live with that. I like things clean. I scrub the wash. Yes, I've got a garden, and I grow some squash. I keep in shape. Yes. I mow the lawn. I wake up late. I'm up at dawn. No matter, I can live with that. Margaret, do you like to dance? Yes. Yeah, I love to dance. Yeah, not a good dancer, though. No, aren't you? No. How, how about we have a go at it now? Here? Yes, why not? What? Well, there's no time like the place in the present, okay. Margaret. C-O-D, oh. come over, darling. Oh. <laughs> now, Margaret, that is smooth. You can't oh. deny. I had an idea we'd go together. Well, like cheese and cracker. <laughs> Oh, like butter on me, Vicky. Your butter on your <laughs> Vicky. Oh, <laughs> Milk in your tea. Yeah, go oh. ahead, go ahead. Yeah. I just have something to say. Hey, go ahead and say it. I have to tell you that um, I'm just not the kind to just hop into bed like an acrobat. Oh. It takes time. Okay. Uh oh. That's a problem. Depends, Margaret, on how long you're talking. Because if you're talking years, I'm sorry, I don't think. Either one of us has that much time to play around with. <laughs> I was thinking a few weeks, maybe. No matter, I can't live with that. I will be buried at my gym's right. Next to my Sue, that's my graveside. But I'm still here with much to give. Someday I'll die. For now I'll live. Barry, I'll always love my Jim. Of course, Margaret, and I, I will always, always love my Sue. <laughs> uh, I, I just don't know. You think I do? Mom, what was your favorite show? Oh, that one. I think I'll have to say nonsense. It was wonderful. Mom was Aww. so sweet. Very, very sweet. And she loved seeing me in the habit. You broke her heart yeah. when you didn't become an actual nun. No, I think you're right. No, I am right. <laughs> anyway, we took, uh, we took our whole cast and some friends and family, many generations in some cases, to Waterford, Ireland with our nonsense show. Well, we entered it in the Waterford Light Opera Competition, didn't Absolutely. we? Absolutely. Yes, now, Sheila, remember, we didn't win. We couldn't win, Shelley. Oh. We, because there were two, not enough of us for the whole requirement or whatever. But, I mean, I shan't deny it. We did get a standing ovation. The only group that got a standing ovation. Thank you. Kind regards. Yeah. And, and we it, were on the radio. Yes, the Irish journalist. Shelley, yes. you're doing well. Oh, yes, he said, um, oh, the theatre was alive last night with, with five singing and dancing nuns. Yes. I was yes. laughing so hard I couldn't take notes. No. Yes. No. Yes. Laughing yes. so hard I could nearly cry. Yeah, I can't yeah. say the accent. Yeah. Well, leave, leave it, it up. to the professional. Let's hear it. It was a magical evening in the theatre while I laughed till I nearly cried. I was laughing so much I couldn't make notes. No wonder the audience stood up and applauded at the end. It was a great, great night's entertainment. Now, I'm going to tell you, you're both... 
excellent nuns. I love watching you guys Thank be nuns. Thank you, Peter. Thank you. No. Anything we put our hand to. Uh, yes. <laughs> I will tell you, though, Nonsense was one of my favorite shows. Sheila, I loved it, too. Loved Mine it. Mine, too. Why wouldn't we? We first and second in command. Yeah, mistress of the novices. Reverend. We tap dance and then. Yes, you could tap dance, <laughs> Not too. bad. Not bad. Well, well, and certainly, why wouldn't we be good nuns? We were reared by the nuns. St. Patrick's. True. Holy Heart of Mary. St. Kevin's, thank to you, to your ghoul's rules. Yes, just look how the nuns rubbed off on you both. You're just like well, you are nuns we're for God's sake. We're fabulous. Mm -hmm. We're just a couple of sisters, plain as we can be. Just a couple of sisters who've discovered harmony. Oh, sure, I could go solo. Going solo can be fun. When two solos get together, they harmonize as one. You know, None. We're just a couple of sisters out here having fun. The mistress of the novices and Reverend Number One. It's true I am in charge here, but I know I'm not alone. As long as Sister Hubert adds her harmonizing tone. Well, I train all the novices she does. and I do it on my own. On her own. I know Reverend Mother is near. Always near. A stepping stone. A, step, a stepping stone. What do you mean by that, Hubert? Oh, Reverend what, Mother. You, you just clearly said stepping stone. Oh, well, well, it was just a rhyme, oh. you see, in the song. Mm. Mm. And the only other word that I could think of right there and then was um, overgrown. <laughs> and I know how sensitive you are about your... Uh, well, your weight. I will have you know I'm not sensitive about my weight. I am retaining water today, though. I should never have had that salt beef. Sister <laughs> Perpetua makes it so beautifully. <laughs> well, hello, Babel's Big Pond. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Windsor Lake. Hey, put us both together and we got it all. The melody, the harmony, St. Peter and St. Paul. And all we need is Mary, and we have a singing group. Every Tom and Nick and Harry is Mary in this troupe. Sister Mary Thomas, Sister Mary Richard, Sister Mary Harold, Sister Mary Noel, Sister Mary Martin, Sister Mary Pickford, Sister Mary Sunshine, hey, run roll! Sister Mary Herman, Sister Mary Astor, Sister Mary Widow, Sister Nazareth, Sister Mary Poppins, Sister Mary Christmas, Sister Nazareth, I'm that Mary crap. Just a couple of sisters in what you'd call reform Who've come to entertain you by singing up a storm Swanee, how I love you, the Reverend Mary We're just a couple of sisters Plain as we can be Just a couple of sisters who've discovered See, Mom loved that. Yeah. And it was her absolute favorite. She really felt certain I was going to be a nun. Yes, she Why wouldn't How she? How disappointed right. she was. Now, look, we never really got the opportunity to interview Mom before she died. Mm. But we did ask Dad what he thought would be her favorite show. I know the one. Oh, I know it, too. Yeah. Dad, what would you say was Mom's favorite show? Uh, I would say she liked all the shows, uh, especially the ones that you were in. Oh, thank you. But uh, she had a favorite, which was uh, the Patsy Cline show uh, at the Majestic. Yeah, but I wasn't in it. Uh, no, I, I know. Uh, it's too bad because uh, she uh, she certainly would have liked to be here today to hear you. That's right, yeah. I did Patsy Cline show after Mom had passed away. Yeah, she would have loved to uh, hear you. It would have been the ultimate. Oh, fabulous. So the next episode is going to be these Patsy Cline tributes. I am loving the clips. Mm, me too. Oh, my gosh. If only we had our pajamas on oh, or something. Oh, gosh. Yeah. It's a nice onesie. Yeah. Yes. Something with a bit of expansion. Yes, because this popcorn had me swole up. I won't get my socks off no, after this. Be a <laughs> Perhaps a, a, a day bed would be nice. It'd be lovely and comfortable. Yeah. Hi. Hey, Keith hey. Power. I was watching from home, and I thought yeah. it might be nice if I joined your clique. Can I join you? <laughs> no. <laughs> No, because, see, that's the original cast. Mm. This is what this little clique is. Mm. So, mm. Sheila, Dana, and I have been part of Spirit for, like, seven or eight years. No, that's fair. 
That's not a bad idea, and she can bring my wine. Oh, good, good idea, good thinking, Don't. and my Diet Pepsi. Mm. And, and you know what? He has been with us seven or eight years, yes. perhaps more, but Dana's been with us 14 years. Oh, all of it. She wow. is older than she looks. Oh, she looks fantastic. She does. She? She's getting some work done, Definitely. I'd say. Definitely. I'd say Ben's has seen her more than once now. Yeah. 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 Oh. We should give her a text or something, yeah. shall we? I just did while you were talking about her age. Oh. She's on the way. Hi! Yeah. I thought I heard my name. Uh. <laughs> Guys, I brought everything we need, a few treats, a little bit of wine, and of course the boys from Bob LeDrew and Sons for all of your moving needs. Hire Bob LeDrew and Sons. Pull me down a little bit now, boys. Gently, gently. Oh my God, this Thank is you. fabulous. Oh, wow. Thank, Thank you. See you guys. Yeah, Look at all your with all the gear. Drop a Diet Pepsi on the straws and chip. What about our leg? <laughs> oh, yes. oh, no all part. right, guys, what's coming up next? Oh, well, the next episode is fantastic. <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait either. <laughs> next week on the Big Spirit Reunion Gala.